Hello everyone, this is Cherie coming at you from the year 2020. I decided I needed to watch some movies that made me laugh. The first movie is a cultural satire from the year 2006 called American Dreams. It kind of is a parody of American Idol and uh, that whole culture that surrounds, you know, instant celebrity. It stars Hugh Grant, Mandy Moore, Willem Dafoe, and Seth Meyers does a great little cameo in it. And uh, also my favorite was Tony Yalda, who now goes by the name Winter Jones. Fabulous performance. This film, you know, at first I kind of disliked it, <laughs> but I kept watching it and uh, it was entertaining enough. And uh, then I thought the ending was really gutsy. So in general, I, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, but if, if you like those kind of social satire movies, then go for it. American Dreams. The next film is much older. It's from 1982, and it's called Dead Men Don't Wear Plaid, starring Steve Martin and Rachel Ward. This movie is black and white, and they kind of do this collage thing where they incorporate all these clips from old classic films, uh, black and white films. So you have a lot of stars like Humphrey Bogart, James Cagney, Veronica Lake, Lana Turner, Betty Davis, and they just kind of weave them throughout the storyline. Uh, Semi-unsuccessfully, I think. Um, it's cute. It's a gimmick. Um, it was the final film for costume designer Edith Head and composer Miklos Rosa, um, which, you know, it's a great pedigree for an average film. It opens with a sexual assault, played for laughs. Ah! In today's world, you know, that that just wouldn't fly. That would be totally unacceptable to put this kind of scene in a movie. So, um, yeah. The next film is from 2019. It is an animated comedy called Klaus. So it's a, an alternative origin story about Santa Claus. Um, it's a buddy film between a postman and a toy maker. And they are on this remote um, island way up in the north. Netflix produced it. It was nominated for Best Animated Feature, although Toy Story 4 took the Oscar for that. I thought it was cute, mildly amusing. Um, sure, see it if you like animation. The next movie is a sports comedy uh, from 2008 called Leatherheads. It was written and directed by George Clooney. Um, it is about the early years of professional American football. Renee Zellweger co-stars as a feisty reporter, and uh, it, it wants to be a screwball comedy, but it's, it's not that funny. It's, you know, amusing at best. Next up, Monkey Business from 1952. This is a black and white screwball comedy starring Cary Grant, Ginger Rogers, and Marilyn Monroe has a supporting part in it. Um, it's about a chemist's life that's turned upside down when his chimpanzee mixes up a, an anti-aging cocktail and puts it in the water dispenser. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's a fun movie. Uh, the middle drags a little. Um, Ginger Rogers does some dancing without Fred Astaire. Marilyn Monroe has some uh, perfect comic timing some really nice lines in this. There is uh, one section with a little bit of Native American insensitivity. It's, like, it's so funny because going back through all these old movies and all these old scripts, it's like, oh, okay, what movie wasn't racist? <laughs> I'm coming across a lot of that lately. Uh, but again, uh, for a fun time, monkey business. Next up, Oak Ja from 2017, directed by Bong Joon Ho and produced by Netflix. This is a uh, South Korean American co production, 
and it's about a girl fighting to save her genetically modified super pig from the slaughterhouse. If you're not a vegetarian, you might want to become one after you see this. It's <laughs> The slaughterhouse scenes are, are really graphic. There's a great supporting cast, lots of well-known actors. The way I found this was I had been searching for satires in Netflix, and this came up, and this was one of the movies that I had wanted to see. But, you know, it's not so much a comedy. It's more action-adventure, sci-fi, fantasy. Um, it has some comic moments. Um, but, yeah, if you're looking for big belly laughs, <laughs> this is not the movie. All right, and the last film, because I do talk about these in alphabetical order, it's called The Sin of Herod Diddlebach, and it's from 1947. It stars the silent screen actor Harold Lloyd, although this is a talkie. Opens with a, a football sequence, however, from one of his earlier silent films called The Freshman. And then at the end, there's also an homage to another film he did called Safety Last, the one where he's hanging off the clock. The movie is about a man who, after losing his job, uh, has a drink for the first time in his life, and the, the bartender just like pours everything into it, and then it just makes everyone who drinks it go crazy. And uh, it's, it's a kind of a screwball comedy. Um, you know, it was cute, but it's not, not really my thing. So wouldn't necessarily recommend it unless you really like those old uh, black and white kind of silent movie type films, even though, again, it's not silent. And that's it for my week of comedy films. Um, the funny thing is, none of them really like made me laugh all the way through. Um, you know, most of them just had kind of comedic moments. They were amusing, but they... They weren't really funny haha. -ha. Um, I'd say out of all of them, Monkey Business was probably the funniest. So <laughs> tell me what your favorite comedies are in the comments below. And I will see you in the next video.